What's going on guys, Little's Pressure Washing here. And as you can clearly see, I have two of the most talked about guns in the soft wash industry right now. These both are soft wash guns, but they weren't intended for that. These were intended for use in food and soft like, you know, like vegetation and farming and gardens. Uh, they can be used for anything, but that's why they were intentionally were built to my understanding. Uh, they've been out for a number of years, and I mean a number of years. And they finally made it into our space, the soft wash space. So I'm going to go over these and tell you a little bit about where they come from, what the differences is, but there's not much. And uh, basically what you can do with this and how this can change your soft wash and cleaning game and take it to the next level. Let's go. I want to talk about the myth of everything in this being stainless and this not. That is not correct. The only thing difference between this gun and this gun is this has a stainless pin and this one doesn't. Now, they are both RB65. They're made by PA. PA is a company out of Italy. And let me tell you, every part of this is made in Italy. It isn't sourced anywhere else. It's made in Italy. You can look them up. They're an amazing company. They're huge. It's all made in Italy. It's like a badge of honor to them to make that they can say every bit of this is made in Italy. I've done my research on them. Great company, solid company. I would recommend getting a Mosmatic Swivel on this right here. Check this out. This right here turns like this so your hoses don't get kinked, all right? I have it on both of mine. I have a female on this. I have a female on this one because my hoses on my newest trailer, which this will be on, are male. It's the opposite on the other trailer. I didn't design this trailer. I bought it the way it is and I just left it. I'm gonna be updating everything. At that point, I'm gonna make all three trailers of mine uniform in my truck skid. I'm having a new truck skid built. And at that point, all four will be the same thing. Meaning they will all either be male ends on the surface cleaners, the lances, the guns, or female. But they won't be mixed match and stuff like that. Which brings me to a point, if you don't have in your toolbox a tool, and I wish I had it in front of me to show you, uh, basically, you can build one, get a male end and another male end and connect them together with a piece in the middle so that if you have, uh, basically, you're in the field and you need a, a male and there's another male or a female, whatever the case is, you can throw that in the middle and also make another one with females. So make one with two males on it and two females on it. Have them also, you know, in your toolbox so you can use them when the case may need. But I don't want to get off subject. I want to get back to this. But that's another little tip while I'm thinking of, I wanna share with you, it's helped me out a, a number of times. Say you're down and you need to grab another surface cleaner or borrow one or rip one or whatever the case may be, and it's a different connection. Say you're running a male hose and it's a male, you can just throw that female in the middle and connect them. Or if it's female and female, you can throw the male in the middle and connect them. Well, lifesaver, game changer, totally time is everything in this in this industry and in any, in anything, you know? So check this out. This gun right here, solid, Right, I beat this to death. It falls down, it, it gets tossed around, banged around. And let me tell you, it's easy on the hands. It's getting a little more tension because I've used it, but it's lasted a long time, like well over a year. This is the new one, I haven't used it yet. See, I can notice a little bit of difference because it's brand new, of course. But still, after a year, after a year, this one's not even, it's not even hard really, you know? But you know, it's, it's made it a good year, so we're gonna go ahead and, and um, upgrade that at some point. But back to this right here, these right here, guys, you can adjust these. You see the end there? With the screwdriver, you can adjust your spray pattern, however you, what you like it. Right, tight, left, loose. And as you're adjusting, you can, you can uh, change that however you like it. Now, the beauty of these guns, I'll talk about this one because it's the one I use all the time. They're the same except for the color, except for the stainless pin, that's it. Um, so the beauty of this is you can barely squeeze it like this and get a fan pattern, or you can pull it all the way in and shoot a direct stream. Now, I made a TikTok video and it's got almost 50,000 views. And since I made it, sales have shot up. I'm not claiming that I'm the one that did it, but I'm saying that I, when I talked to my friends at General Pump that seen the video, they said, yeah, uh, sales have went through the roof on this. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying these guns out there. I enjoy them. I'm able to wash down the driveway and get it done in like 60 seconds flat. I can do spray driveway. I use this to pre-treat, post-treat, uh, wash houses and buildings, uh, roofs, um, rents, basically 
throw on the chemicals, throw them off, and basically same gun. You ain't gotta change your nozzles out or nothing. You just grab it and go. Basically, if I, I, I'm on the ground, I can shoot a fan spray or I can shoot a, like a jet stream, boom, boom, boom. I can shoot way over the house, man. These things, like I said, this is uh, rated at 90 degrees Celsius, 195 degrees Fahrenheit. But what's most important is the uh, gallons per minute, 16 gallons per minute, 350 PSI, 350 PSI, 16 gallon per minute. Now, I would not recommend putting this on a 12 volt system. I don't own a 12 volt system. Um, I'm gonna be getting a 12 volt system, but it's gonna be pump tech, and that's a whole other story. Uh, I'm partnered with them. They're doing some amazing things, videos coming soon. But I just wanted to go over these guns. These guns are right now, and since they've gotten popular, the prices have went up, you know how it is. But back when I was getting these guns for like 80 bucks, 90 bucks, now they're the cheapest you can find. It's maybe 110 up to like two, people are charging 200 bucks. It's ridiculous. They seem to be, these seem to be a little bit higher. I don't understand why, like I said, it's just a stainless pen. Uh, but yeah, and I actually added this on the end. It doesn't come with that. You add this swivel right here and it's just amazing. It's amazing and I can just, hose don't get kinked. And then also listen, if you're washing a lot, you can pull this back like this and drop it in like that. And you can just, you know, so your hands don't get like, you know, wore out during the day, you can kind of just fall back off of it, you know, just shh, you know, but make sure you're holding it. You don't want it to fly out of your hands. And then always, always this, while we're talking about roof pumps and gas soft wash systems, whatever you want to call them, um, I sell them, obviously, of course, I have the Comet P40s, only 1800 bucks, 1800 bucks for a key start. And it comes with a battery and a battery box, 48 inch battery cables, and I'll ship it to you. No questions asked, just let me know. But when you buy it, it'll be shipped out the same day if you buy it in the morning. But back to this, um, this is a game changer right here, man. I'm able to just shoot three or four stories way up in the air, and uh, it's it's awesome. If you got the gas roof pump system, definitely, definitely do this. And one more thing, guys, on the gas roof pump system, soft wash systems, what do you want to call them? Always have your hand on the trigger, or do like this when you're cranking it. When you're cranking it and when you're turning it off, make sure your hand's down. It'll make your system last a lot longer. So if you have any questions, drop them in a comment. Like I said, I just shot from the fly on this. Um, no notes or nothing, just kind of from my experience. Uh, honesty is the best policy. And like I said, we just we don't want to sugarcoat it. We don't want to we want to give it to you raw and real. So uh, that's what we're doing. So yeah, like I said, I got one of each. I'm going to be doing some videos in the field. And there's no, there's no difference, man. There's no difference. They're exactly the same besides that one part. The PSI is the same, 350 PSI, 16 gallons per minute. And this is amazing. A lot of people overseas, over in Europe, they use this and water their gardens with. Like I said, this was used in the food industry years ago, like many, many years ago. But now we've uh, it's actually gotten a wave in the soft wash industry and cleaning industry. But yeah, so I've only had to adjust mine one time, like I said. But uh, yeah, you can play with it, see what you know where you want to be at. And uh, yeah, so I hope that's helped answer any of your questions like i said the only difference is the uh, stainless pin the rest besides that the rest are the same and uh, i'll give you a close-up of it real quick there you go there's the blue one and last but not least here's the red one i'm going to be using this as of tomorrow i'll put it on my brand new trailer Hope everybody had a great time at the Huge. If you didn't get to make it last, this year, it's at the same place next year, Nashville, Tennessee, Grand Ole Opry, Opryland Hotel, Gaylord Opryland. Um, make sure you guys uh, get your tickets now. They're doing a big like, giveaway right now with the Huge. You can win 5,000 bucks. But yeah, um, like I said, if you have any questions, drop them in a comment. Make sure you like and uh, share this video. If you think it can help somebody, share it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I, I can't thank you guys enough for the support. You guys are amazing. Until next time, I'll see you right here.